Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adaptalux and I'm back in the kitchen today to bring you another macro photography tutorial. Today we're looking at uh, pocket watches. I've got a, a couple to, uh, to try out today and see what kind of shots we can get from them. So let's get started. For those of you that have been to see us at the photography show, you'll probably recognize these watches. Um, we use them quite a lot to, to demonstrate the Adapts Look Studio. Um, and that's because there's, there's quite a lot of nice detail on there. It's a bit hard to see in this, uh, in this light with this camera, but um, they present a, an interesting challenge because there's a lot of uh, engraved detail on here and the surfaces are reflective. So lighting them is a bit of a challenge. But that's what we're going to look at today and we're going to get some really interesting results. Equipment wise we've got a, a pretty simple setup, we've got the Nikon D5600 and the Tamron 90mm macro lens on there. Um, now technically we're not going to be shooting macro, it's more close up photography but um, you've probably noticed by now that I use those terms pretty interchangeably. Uh, we've also got the Adapt Look Studio for lighting obviously um, and a couple of different lighting arms. We've got two whites and then I've also got an amber and a green there to try. I'm also going to be sort of demonstrating the difference between using the filters to add colour and using the coloured lighting arms themselves. Um, so we'll have a look at that. And for a surface I've got a piece of white card just to have a white surface and then we'll be using the iPad again to get a reflective surface. If you've not seen the, the coins video where we use the, light, the iPad to uh, reflect the coins, you can check that out as well. Uh, but for now, let's get started setting this up. The initial setup's a pretty simple one then. We've got uh, the, the silver pocket watch on a little bit of white paper so that we've got a nice flat background surface to shoot on. Um, and our lighting is sat behind the subject on the mini tripod so that we can bring the lighting arms around the front and position them exactly how we'd like them. It's just two white lighting arms for the time being with some white diffusers clipped onto the end there. Um, but something that you're going to immediately notice Along with the reflections on this very shiny pocket watch of the diffusers, you're going to be seeing reflections of all of the other lights that are going on in the kitchen. So these ones over here, you'll be able to see like a, an orangey glow coming off the top of the pocket watch. So if I shield that, you'll be able to see it disappear and, and come back. Um, and we want to try and reduce that as much as possible so that you can take really fine control over exactly where your light is coming from, where those reflections are going to be on the watch and exactly how you want your lighting to be. So I'm going to go and turn off the lights for the kitchen and we should just be left with the Adapts Look Studio. With the two diffused uh, white lights we get a pretty representative shot so uh, I've just been taking a look at these two different pocket watches. We've got one that's silver and, and got some nice engraving on it and then this sort of brownie uh, brass coloured one. Now neither of them are neither of them are particularly nice watches. I don't think this one's even silver. It's just uh, some coated metal or something like that. Um, but they're both interesting to look at. But we can do a few interesting tricks with this lighting to take it from um, a standard sort of white representative shot uh, just to something a little bit more interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up this, oh, well, I like the silver one better, so we'll set up the silver one and then we'll have a look at some colour filters. Colour filters are different to the diffusers in that they, they'll not only diffuse the light, but they're also going to add some colour, obviously. So we've got um, yellow, pink, red, green, orange, blue, uh, and we can just change these out by snapping one of the white diffusers off and then just clipping a colour filter on and you can see immediately how that's changed the look of the photograph where uh, you've got some, a very light blue colour under the shadows of 
uh, the ring on the top of the, the watch there. Um, and it also changes that reflection in the silver as well. So it's really interesting to play with a few of these and just see if you can find a look that makes your jewellery or watch or whatever it is that you're shooting look just a little bit more visually interesting with just a touch of colour. Now if you're wanting to sell your jewellery online or something like that you might not want to be adding too much colour but for the purposes of having a bit of fun with some macro photography I really enjoy just making things look a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to play around with this just a little bit more and uh, see what I can get. So you can see there how quickly I can change out these colour filters for all sorts of different colours and different effects on what would otherwise be a, a pretty plain colourless image. Um, and if that's what you're going for, that's absolutely fine. You can do that with the, um, with the diffusers. But I'm going to try something a little bit more subtle now because these are um, they're more of a wash, but I want a nice subtle pinpoint of light. And to do that, I've added a green lighting arm here, which you can see, um, but it's a little bit bright and overwhelming at the minute. So I'm going to connect to Bluetooth and change the brightness levels on the Adaptalux control pod. And I'll show you how to do that now. So I've connected the pod to my phone just by pressing the button on the top of the pod. Um, and then it will come up with a screen similar to this one where you can select the lighting arms. And you can see that we've got the two white ones on here at 50% but you can just select one and change the brightness so you can take one away all together or bring it back in a little bit and then the interesting thing here is that we can very finely control those extra lighting arms so if I just wanted uh, a few percent of the green light just to add a very subtle highlight in there I can do that very, very easily. I've also plugged in a few more arms, which I'm sure you can see there's a blue one as well. So I can bring in a few percent of the blue and just one or two percent of the green maybe. And then I've got another white lighting arm with an orange color filter on there. So I can add three different highlights of color in there just at the tap of a button. And obviously you can go a bit more crazy and, and take away the, the whites and add in a lot of blue or a lot of green um, or obviously take them away and you can do this to your liking uh, just by playing around with the app and the brightness levels of the arms that are plugged in. Using the app to change the intensities and brightnesses um, using the colour filters and the diffusers and the coloured arms all in combination can create some really interesting effects and just take your creativity to that next level where usually this this type of shot on this type of subject would be quite plain um, a white white shot and a white background um, with a with a white subject it's not going to be the most striking image so adding some color I think is really really cool to, to play around with so I've had fun shooting this silver pocket watch uh, starting off quite plain with the two diffused white lights and then progressing to some more interesting colors and color filters and things like that um, but I just wanted to change things up a little bit have a look at the other pocket watch which has got a bit more color to it um, but before we get to the color I just wanted to mention the iPad why am I why am I shooting on an iPad um, if you didn't see our video about coins, definitely go and check that out because we used the iPad as a surface to get some reflections from the coins. So that's a really interesting little trick that you can use if you've got screens lying around at home and you don't have a surface to shoot on. For the pocket watch itself, um, I wanted to highlight the colour that's already there. So instead of adding crazy blues and greens and things like that, I've added a third white lighting arm and all I'm going to do is snap this orange colour filter onto that white lighting arm. You can see that it just adds a lot more 
visual interest to this type of shot where you would usually have uh, a, a, quite a plain white reflection on there. You've actually got a highlight of a colour and you can use this for highlighting the gold on wedding rings or putting a pinpoint of the colour of a jewel on, on some jewellery. So it's a really interesting little technique that I like to use just to add a little bit more of the colour that's already there. So that's it for tips and tricks on using the Adaptilux Studio to shoot pocket watches. Uh, it's quite a tricky subject to shoot using more traditional lighting methods like a, like a light box or something like that because uh, you really need that flexibility to control where the, the highlights are going to be landing on a, on a reflective subject like this. And of course you've got the, the colours and the colour filters to uh, have a play around with and get creative with as well. Um, but let me know what you think to today's shoot in the comments down below and if you like the video make sure to give it a like whilst you're down there. Uh, we've got lots of we've got lots of ideas for different subjects um, and inspiration for you guys so make sure to subscribe for some more tutorials like this one but until then I'll see you next time.